What's up, Christ United Kids? So, normally Mondays are Memorize It Monday, but we are gonna do something together for this entire week. We are gonna hit pause, and we are gonna go back and review all of the verses that we have learned so far. Do you guys know that if you've been doing this with me since January, you have hopefully learned 22 Bible verses and have them written on your heart. This week, we're gonna take four at a time and we're gonna talk about what they have in common. So they're not gonna be in order. We're gonna actually do it in a five week. So we're gonna start with our very first Bible verse that we learned and I know that this is one that you guys can say because we practiced it and practiced it and I'm pretty sure that everybody has it written on their heart. Are you ready? Let's start with Mark 12, 30. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. So we started the year off learning that we have to love God. We have to love him with everything in us. And this entire six months or so that we've been memorizing God's word and writing it on our heart, do you know that we've written more verses on our hearts about who God is? So the next verse that we're going to review today is Luke 5, 16. Do you guys remember this one? It says, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. And we learned that in order for us to know God and to love God, that we have to spend time with him. And that means that just like Jesus gave us the amazing example of him going off to pray and have time to pray, this verse reminds us that we need to do that too. In order to know God, to love God, we have to spend time with him. All right. Then we learned something so amazing about God. And this verse is one that I absolutely love. It's one I hope that you guys have written on your hearts. And it is Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So, that verse is so, so important because it tells us, number one, that God loves us so, so much. He loves us and loved us from the beginning of time, even when we were sinners, even when we had sin in our heart. And that is why he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross. He showed us his ultimate love by sacrificing his son, Jesus. So we learned, let's go back. We learned, Mark 12, 30, that we have to love God with our heart, with our mind, with our soul, with our strength. We also learned that in order to love God, we have to know him. So we have to spend time with him, just like Luke 5, 16 says. We, just like Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. And then we learned in Romans 5, 8, that God demonstrates his love. He showed us that he loves us by sending his son, Jesus, to die for him. That's not all. We have one more. So our last verse that we're going to review for today that teaches us about God is a long one. So let's see if we can remember it. It's Colossians 2, 6, and 7. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives rooted and built up in him strengthened in him or strengthened in the faith that you were taught. So that verse again goes along with the praying one that when we ask Jesus into our lives, we have to spend time with him. We have to know who he is and we need to live our lives like we are rooted in him, that we are built up and strengthened in him. Our faith in God gives us strength. It gives us strength. It gives us everything we need. So, you guys got all of this? I hope so. Tomorrow we're going to do four more. But let's pray and thank God for teaching us so much about who he is and how we can show him that we love him. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. 
God, thank you for these verses that remind us how we love you, how we show you, how we know you. God, help us to love you with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Help us to spend time with you daily, to go by ourselves and spend time talking to you. Help us to always remember that you showed us that you loved us by sending your son, Jesus. And God, we pray too that we would always live our lives in you, rooted and built up in your strength, in our faith, just like we've been taught. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.